Hi, I'm making an outfit of the day. No, I'm just kidding. I look like crap. This is not worthy of outfit of the day. I mean, it kind of is. It's a pretty cool shirt, and this is my new hoodie. His name's Gambino. After a uh, child, it's Gambino because he has one too. Donald Glover. Yeah, he's uh, uh, like a lot of my white girlfriends. Like you know, they like they're like, oh, I love listening to to rap. And like Little Wayne and things, but they're not. Uh, I don't like them. I like Gambino is the most offensive I get. Um, yeah, it's funny when I rap. But I like uh, my favorite group is the Beast Boys and Young MC because Busta Move is literally the least offensive rap song ever, and that's my ringtone. I just like the looks that I get on my phone rings. Bust it. Dun, 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 dun. You love that song. Don't even don't even trip. Everybody loves that song. Um anyhow, yeah. Um, I was supposed to go to Chicago over the weekend, but I didn't get to go. Um so I went shopping. Cause I was sad. And uh retail therapy does work. PS I am filming on my iPhone right now because See that vanity right there? That's usually what I film. Like, I turn the light on, but the light's not working, and I don't know where my flip cam is, because that's what I usually use. Uh, I've been up for 24 hours. That's fun. I was, I'm still super hyper as fuck. Uh, mental. But I did buy some new things. This is obviously Gambino. He, and this is Glenn. They're both from American Apparel, but they were made in France, so that makes sense, doesn't it? And, uh, this is my awesome... Uh, sorry, I got a text from my mom. This is my awesome Arrested... No, I was just watching Arrested Development with my dad. I have a Ruth Frozen Banana Stand shirt, though, and on the back it says Mr. Manager, because I'm Mr. Manager, but this is my office space shirt where they're kicking the crap out of the machine there. PC little letter, what the fuck does that mean? Every time I get to say that, no one's around to appreciate it. But I did say the, uh, the Milton line today. If, she, if she's allowed to listen to her headphones while she files, they was told us not to listen to my radio from 9 to 11. Because I listen to my headphones while I file. It's funny. Um, oh, also, super retarded, so I'm into, like, fucking moccasins. Yeah, so these are mine. They got little foxes on them. I bought them at uh, Urban Outfitters because that's where I bought this too. It was, it was on sale. I was like, what the fuck? But the moccasins are awesome. And the, they make me like walk super fast. So I was like, do I look retarded walking? My grandma was like, no, you're just real, you're just flying. I'm like, I'm the flash. And a red hoodie. And I was like, zoom, 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 zoom. P.S. One of my friends was just like, uh, I got a, uh, what's it called? I have a Justice League magnet in my cube at work, and then it's like, fuck that, it's the Avengers, and I was like, you know what you're fucking talking about, DC Universe is fucking cool, and, um, I'm not a fan of Thor, I think he's stupid, and the only two Avengers I like are Captain America, because I really want that Captain America shield that, like, shoots discs, because I'm seven, and I like the Hulk, just the Lou Ferrigno one, though. But everyone else I'm not a fan of. DC has, like, multiple characters that I love. Like, Batman. Talk about him all the time. I have a Batman mug at work. Green Lantern. I got this mug with a mustache straw. Fun stuff. Look. That's fun. Kids love it. Uh, and I love it, too, because I'm seven. I got a Batman ice tray for my apartment, and um, I'm not too keen on Superman. I always like the Flash. I'm not too keen on Wonder Woman either. Like, I don't really like the girl superheroes as much as the boys, but my favorite Batman definitely is Adam West Batman. <laughs> Watch Batman Dance. That's the best one. When you like, it's like, one, or one fresh orange juice, Batman special, and then she like drugs him. You sure can shake a cape, Batman. It's nothing. My drink. And then the Riddler gets him. That's such a good episode. Um, that was the funniest. He was funny, though. I got Batman toothbrush, too, because I'm seven still. 
Um, oh, look at this. Right next to me. My German notebook. It's Captain America. Because that makes sense as much as my American Apparel being from France. Um, yeah, so... I mean, I subscribe to comics from I mean, Newberry Comics, so I get them cheaper. So I get the Green Lantern, Green Lantern Corp, The Flash, Batman, um, Darkwing, The Western, um, Justice League Dark, Justice League. Um, the one, I forget what it's called, but with all the chicks, like Harley Quinn's in it, and Selena Kyle, Catwoman, and uh, someone else, and they kick ass. Fight crime shit. So excited for the new Batman movie. But I really don't think Anne Hathaway was a good choice for Catwoman. We're just going to have to find out now, won't we? Because that doesn't really make sense because Selena Kyle was half um, African American, which made sense for Halle Berry to be Catwoman in that horrible movie called Catwoman. But it made sense. It made sense. So and this doesn't. <laughs> See how that shit goes. Um, what else is happening? Nothing really boring time, I guess. Just I work and things and I'm trying to move to my new apartment. And uh, when that's all set up, I'll have like a video about that. Um, looks like shit right now. And uh, yeah. Uh, what else is happening? Today is pretty good. Uh, I don't know. I'm like lost and like tired and like <sighs> my nails are glittery. Got that at Urban Outfitters too. Uh, I don't want to like seem hipstery by shopping there, but they have some nice things. And like, I mean, I know you can buy vintage clothes, but you can just buy new stuff that looks vintage too. Not to be ignorant, but <laughs> they do have some nice items. They are pricey, but they got oh, I got a new piercing. Oh, I don't have mine in right now. Crap, I gotta put those in because I take them out for work. But I got my navel pierced. The first of five. In three months, I'm gonna go back and get the next two. And then three months, I'm gonna get the next two so it looks like a star. I saw a girl on YouTube today and hers look kind of crappy. But mine won't, hopefully. Um, hold on, let me take my stuff out. Ah, I forgot about it. I forget sometimes. Uh, yeah, cause today I got into this, like, crazy YouTube shit because I didn't go to sleep, so I was, like, watching a bunch of, like, like, this guy was, like, ashamed. I was watching Ricky Lake, okay? Yeah. Old school. I miss that show. And he's like, my son's goth. And I'm like, dude, uh, like, why are you so embarrassed? Like, I know people say, like, a lot of the people in the goth community say, like, it's not a phase, but I... I I think it is. I think we all go through phases where we're dark and angsty, and I mean, I've surely been called a goth, but I'm clearly not a goth or an emo. I'm just like retarded. I'm like all over the fuck place. And, uh, um, but he, he like had one eyebrow and like painted the other one on and had a mantid shirt and a nine inch nails lunchbox. And, uh, his dad was like, I'm just embarrassed. And like, I mean, I'm glad that I came out and, like, my mom is so accepting. She never told me I couldn't do anything. Like, she never said my pink hair was, like, unacceptable. She never, like, said I couldn't have piercings or anything. Like, I tricked her the first time to get my Monroe done, which I let close up now. But, um, I was like, can I get my Monroe pierced? And she was like, what's that? And I was like, that's part of your ear. And she was like, yeah, just don't tell Dad. And I was like, my piercing hurts. And she's like, what's ears done? I'm like, it's on my face. Because my godmother took me. And then I got my nose pierced, and I pierced my own lip, and then I had to do my own shit. I had to wait till I was 18. Definitely wait till you're 18 to talk about that. But anyway, I mean, she, she has 80s hair, so if anything, like, I'd be embarrassed, but, like, I think I embarrass her more than she embarrasses me. And, I mean, like, if my kids, God forbid I have kids, like, God forbid I get married, um... They're not going to have time to embarrass me because I'm still going to look like this when I have children. I'm going to, like, drop them off and be like, what the fuck? Is that your mom? Be like, what's up? But, so, they're not even going to have a chance, but I'm going to be cool. And, uh, yeah. That's just sad, like, when people can't even accept their own kids, just even if they're going through a phase. I bet that kid's not even a goth anymore. He was, like, 15, and this was back on Ricky Lake. 
you know how many years ago that was? Bunch. But a bunch of you people watching don't know who that is. Like, you know who she is, you just haven't seen the show. But, uh, um, and then I watched a bunch of Manson videos and, like, the Vampire Woman, I found out about her, and then, like, watched some piercing videos and, like, a tattooing video, and, like, then I watched this one about a goth girl, like, I watched a couple of her videos, and she basically gave me the formula on how to be a goth. <laughs> Lifestyle, music, and image. And it's not something you choose to be, you just are. Um, I really think being goth is all in your choice. Like, you don't choose to be goth. And she compared it to waking up and deciding you want to be a homosexual. She compared being goth to being a homosexual. That, that's not even the same ballpark. Like, I'm an openly bi person, and a lot of my friends are gay, and none of that matters. And it's not even, that doesn't affect how you look and, like, how you act. And, I mean, sometimes it can, but sometimes, a lot of the time it doesn't. You would never know. And that is totally different from being a goth. I'm not saying I don't like goths. I have some gothy friends. I did. And, I mean, I don't care. I mean, you can dress how you want. Like, I'm not going to judge you. I know what it's like to be judged. That's why I don't do it. And she was like, Baby bats, I guess that's what they call them now. Like ba like be beginner goths. They like they're like, uh, oh, it's pink, I don't want it. But she's like, I have all these stuffed animals. Um, dude, I have a, a Muno beanie baby just hanging out and I sleep with this dude every night. Like doesn't have anything to do with what I dress like. Muno is just cool. I have a FUFA one too. And Plex and Broby, and I will never have Tootie because she's a bitch. Fucking hate her. I love cats, but I hate Tootie. Um. So I mean, she was wearing like black lipstick and eyeliner. I'm obviously wearing eyeliner now too, but just how I do shit. Just how I roll. I mean, that's how she rolls. That's how a lot of people roll. And then, but it's not a life style. It's not that it is something you choose, in my opinion. And, and I feel like it is a phase. She's like, it's not a phase. It totally is a phase. I went through that phase. We all did. You grow out of it. She's gonna grow out of it soon. She's young, impressionable. And then she just was like, be, be who you are. Like, because of all people being, like, made fun of and stuff, she's gonna tell me to be who I am. Bitch, I've I even give, like, that's the one thing my mom taught me, was to not give a fuck. And that's when shit's good. I'm always happy, it's, like, kind of gross, and, like, I'm just having a good time, just bopping around, like, hanging out. It's because I don't care. I don't care. And you know what? People are going to make fun of you anyway, so just do what you're going to do. Don't even, don't even think twice about it. Unless you're gonna like blow something up, then then unless it's like Mentos and like Coke, but because I don't actually want to do that. Holy shit, Christmas is coming up! Totally excited. People are such scrooges this time of year. I mean, I love it because it doesn't matter. I always make out like a bandit, and uh, that's fun for me. But I also give a lot, and that's rewarding. I gave a gift to a woman I work with today, and she like cried. It was so cute. I was fulfilled. I did my job. This is going to be a two-parter. Sorry, I'm just like really talkative.